What is up guys, it's Scott here and welcome back to Fudge Mop. And it's been a while since we've brought you one of these, but don't worry, we're back in style with a badass modded build. This is the Sharpshooter, our Valen Wood Archer. And also, before we get into it, a big shout out to 101 Facts who did a collaboration with us. The video was called 101 Facts About the Elder Scrolls and we'll leave a link to their channel in the description and a link to the video we did with them in the pinned comment. So please do us a solid favor and check it out. Thanks guys, but anyways, back to the man of the hour. The sharpshooter has been trained since birth to be a super soldier for the Aldmeri Dominion. He is a master with the bow and blade, and after a life of indoctrination, he now fights for good with the goal of bringing peace to a war-ridden province. The sharpshooter blends into the tree line, practically invisible to the naked eye, and snipes his targets from long distances. Discovering the sharpshooter only makes him more deadly, for when the battle breaks out, no man or mer can fire a bow as fast and as effectively as him. His perks reward fast, accurate shots, and if the fight gets up close and personal, he can bash with his bow or even break out his dual daggers, executing power attacks at breakneck speeds. The sharpshooter is extremely versatile and will reap the benefits of whatever approach you take. If you're slow, methodical, and cautious with your strategies, his history as a tracker will allow you to clear entire camps without giving yourself away. Or if you want fast-paced action, you can just as easily mow down waves of foes without taking a hit. The sharpshooter was built to be a political weapon capable of turning the tides of wars and continental campaigns, but now he fights for his own ends, turning his abilities against tyranny. He holds the future of Tamriel in his grasp. This is a modded build and we'll be using a total of five mods. The first is the alternate start mod, which is essential for role-playing our entry into Skyrim from Valenwood. Then we'll have immersive armors for his unique Bosmeri aesthetic. Then Andromeda Standing Stones mod and the Imperious Racers mod will give us some fresh new bonuses for our racial and standing stone choices, adding a new dimension to role playing for this particular character. And finally, the Ordinator perk overhaul is what allows the sharpshooter's chosen skills to excel, making him a joy to experience in combat. Lastly, don't forget that these mods plus timestamps for each section of the video can be found just below in the description. But with that said, here's his race, standing stone, and stats. The Sharpshooter is a Wood Elf, and as a result of the Imperious Races mod, he will start the game with 95 Health, 100 Magicka, 105 Stamina, 1% Health Regen, 3% Magicka Regen, 5% Stamina Regen, and 275 Carry Weight. He will also have four abilities. The first is called Green Pact, and with this he can ritually eat the corpses of the dead, gaining a percentage of their attributes. Then there's Harrier, which gives him a Spirit Bird ally, who he can mark animals to kill for bonus loot or weaken enemies in battle. Third, there's Wild Senses. This allows him to detect moving targets in a large radius when standing still in sneak mode. And finally, there is an unlockable power called Beast Tongue. To get this, hunt 10 animals with Harrier. Once per day, you can call a nearby predator, making it a permanent ally until released. The sharpshooter standing stone will be the Thief Stone. This grants the ambush power, the Thief's path power, and the unlockable pillage power. The first makes sneaking and sneak attacks 10% more effective. The second allows you to learn two Thief skills 20% faster, sleep to change your choice, and pillage can be used once per day to find more loot on the enemies you kill within 30 seconds. Especially violent kills yield more loot. As for stat spread, put 50% in health to keep you alive, and then 50% in stamina, fueling your fast moving, fast firing, sneak rolling, and dual power attacking playstyle. Stamina is also great for general sprinting. If you ask the sharpshooter about his parents, he would respond with silence, for he has no memory of them beyond a few still hazy memories of his nursing years. By the time he was old enough to walk and comprehend basic words and sentences, he was indoctrinated into the ranks of the Third Aldmeri Dominion, where he was to be trained as an elite Thalmor agent in the heart of Valenwood. The Dominion, spearheaded by the Thalmor's political acumen, knew that the best way to keep Valenwood and elsewhere loyal was to own the populace, ensuring that as many fit young prospects were nurtured into useful tools for the Dominion. The the sharpshooter was a prime example of this strategy, as indoctrinating him from a young age proved to be crucial to achieving goals in the Fourth Era. His tutors cleverly interspersed his reading and writing sessions with plenty of political propaganda, and from a young age the sharpshooter knew to treat followers of the Dominion with respect, and to disdain any who strayed from the mandatory path. Anyone who considered Talos a deity was to be perceived as lower than dirt on his boots. Combined with rigorous physical training, he was turned into a weapon. He would fire arrows in the archery yard until his fingers were red and blistered, and until his shoulder blades seized up and ached for the rest of the day, but he enjoyed it. 
the sharpshooter had a purpose, a sense of responsibility, and many opportunities to improve himself and show his worth to his father figures in the Dominion ranks. The straw dummies used in target practice were always dressed up in ancient Akiviri style, resembling the Imperial Blades, and the sharpshooter was rewarded whenever he managed to land an arrow in the imaginary skull of the straw man. By the time he had matured into an adult, the straw men were replaced by real ones. He was sent out into the forests of Valenwood with orders to track down and spy on Imperial operations within the province. Throughout his years, the Empire and Dominion had fought over his homeland, and now he was to be a part of a grand scheme to wipe all traces of Imperial influence from Valenwood. The opportunity to cleanse his home soil of the Imperial parasites, and even worse, the Bosma traitors sympathetic to the Imperial cause, was a tantalizing one. He tracked down high-ranking blades and tailed them on their errands across Valenwood. The sharpshooter could have turned their heads into porcupines with a few quickly dispatched arrows, but he was on strict orders to capture them for interrogation and imprisonment. And so he employed the tactic of sneaking up to touching distance of his targets before drawing his dual daggers on them. Back at the base, he and the other Dominion agents would threaten them with all manner of horrific torture devices, ringing them of any information that could lead them to another nest of Imperial parasites. The sharpshooter had naively thought that when the Great War ended and the cart full of blades severed heads was upended on Imperial soil, the job would be done. For all his skill, the sharpshooter did not enjoy the interrogations. But even when that end had been achieved, his job did not change. Only now he hunted the rebels and defectors from the Thalmor rule, killing countless and capturing even more. He began to wonder if the brutality would ever end. The men and myrrh in the cells at the base were hardly a threat to anyone. For the most part, they were common rebels, poor landowners, indebted to the Dominion leaders who lived in luxury across the sea in Somerset. On the night shifts, the sharpshooter sometimes conversed with the captives in a frail attempt to soothe their anxieties. At first, he simply reassured them that they would not be hanged or tortured, but that soon evolved into learning of their lives. One half-breed, a Bosma with an Imperial father, had the audacity to ask about the sharpshooter's religious beliefs. He'd honestly never thought about it. Yet here he was persecuting innocent mortals who spoke quiet prayers to a god named Talos. The Talos worshippers told the sharpshooter of Type Septim's benevolent deeds and spoke of the chivalry of the Order of the Blades. He couldn't help but wonder that if he had been born into the Empire, would he have just as easily hunted Thalmor agents without a second thought? That night, the faces of all the men and elves he'd killed or seen tortured visited him in his sleep. They were as clear as the summer skies over Elden Root. They didn't scold him for his actions, but showed him the captives suffering in the dungeons, and they interrogated him without threat of torture. Did these innocents deserve to die simply because they were born or educated in Cyrodiil? Would the High Elves turn on him just as quickly when the Ultima's supremacy could be properly implemented? Had he been born into a racist, callous dogma? The sharpshooter woke in a cold sweat. He threw on his cloak, ignoring the Thalmor uniform, and raised his cowl. He descended into the dungeons, passing the fellow agents in the process. Once out of the Mer's sight, he pounced, gripping the agent tightly around the neck until he submitted to sleep, and then he took the keys to the cells. He told the captives to remain quiet, and they fled the Thalmor capital of Valenwood under the veil of darkness. The high canopies of the trees held the starlight at bay, making the roads nigh impossible to traverse, but thankfully, the sharpshooter had been trained since he could walk, and his navigation skills were infallible. They journeyed north, acquiring disguises. The Imperial men and some of the Bosma told stories along the way of their mighty Talos. They told him of the dragonborn prophecy and rumored return of the ancient dragons. These liberated prisoners wanted to start a new life in Skyrim, and the sharpshooter obliged. He knew the Thalmor were operating in the north, funding the Empire in their efforts to quash the rebellion of the Talos worshippers. That would be his chance to thwart the Thalmor's thirst for domination. Perhaps he could bring about some kind of peace, appeasing the souls of the countless mortals he'd slain. At the border, the sharpshooter and the liberated Dominion defectors parted ways. It was the best way to avoid drawing attention from the border patrols. Entering Skyrim proved to be no problem at all, as he was able to track and avoid the Imperial carts despite the harsh weather. He spent the first few days in Skyrim laying low, camping in the forests and living off the wildlife. He feasted on game and used the bones for arrows and marrow for stew. When we join the sharpshooter, his quiet campsite is disrupted by the piercing shriek from a nearby Imperial stronghold of Helgen. Spying the dragon overhead is his call to action, and he will investigate the commotion. 
avoiding being seen at all costs. In terms of role playing, his immoral past proves to be the catalyst for his new morally pure character. He will try to do the best by people regardless of their allegiances and their religious beliefs. He will oppose the Thalmor and their prejudices and will do his best to prevent their reign of tyranny from spreading, but he does not blame the agents and does not wish to see them all dead. He has no doubts that many of the Myrrh among their ranks were indoctrinated just like he was. When killing animals and enemies, he will follow the green pact of his people, feasting on the corpses so as to not waste the remains. After a life embroiled in politics, he wishes to see peace. If that means under the empire, then so be it. He just hopes to see peace restored. He is ashamed of his past, and this will factor into his interactions with others. He does wish to atone however he can. As for factions, he will of course follow the main storyline and the subsequent Dragonborn DLC. After discovering that he is Dragonborn and that he must reform the Blades, his epiphany will make a lot more sense to him. His destiny probably played a part in the realization that the Thalmor's enemies were not all evil. He will strive to use his newly found powers for good. He will join the Companions, though he will cure the Werewolf Curse to adhere to the Green Pact. He will join the Dawn Guard, siding with the Dawn Guard in their attempt to rid the land of malevolent forces. He will take the Blades faction seriously, as the stories he heard from the former prisoners made him sympathetic towards them, but when they asked him to kill Parthenax, he will decide to part ways with the faction. He may want to join the Empire in the Civil War, as despite his past, this is a chance for reconciliation, and the Empire is Tamriel's best chance for peace. He believes they could restore prosperity to the continent for all races, and he doesn't want to aid elven supremacists anymore. He knows that if the Stormcloaks win, they probably couldn't take down the Thalmor alone, and their race exclusion and nationalism doesn't appeal to him anyway. It seems like the reflection of the Dominion's motives. Now that we see the Sharpshooter's backstory, roleplaying and factions sorted, let's take a look at how that will impact his skills, spells, perks, and his overall playstyle. The main skills for this build will be Archery, One-Handed, Light Armor, and Sneak. He won't be using any spells, but there are a couple of useful shouts to sprinkle into your playstyle. These are Elemental Fury and Whirlwind Sprint. The former is brilliant for when you whip out your dual daggers, allowing you to flurry tons of blows at insane speeds, and the latter gives you some added mobility when you need to quickly traverse the battlefield. But with that said, let's get right into his essential perks from each of the four skill trees. The sharpshooter can boast more training than most mortals on Tamriel. Combined with his innate prowess as a Bosma of Valenwood and his guidance of the Aldmeri Dominion's greatest archers, the sharpshooter earns his nickname. From the archery skill tree, take archery mastery 2 of 2, wing strike 2 of 2, long shot 3 of 3, thread the needle 2 of 2, ambush predator, 3 crows, crippling shot, pinning shot, beak and talon, perfect aim, clean kill, snipe, hawk eye, quick shot, hailstorm, ranger, focus on the prey, steady hand 3 of 3, and hunter's discipline. With Wing Strike, the Sharpshooter can deal with melee enemies without necessarily needing to switch to melee weapons. Bashing with the bow will now always stagger the target and they will be 40% more vulnerable to arrow damage for the next 10 seconds. Long Shot makes arrow shots that travel over 50 feet 80% more powerful, pretty much guaranteeing an instant kill on long range snipes. Ambush Predator gives you 25% damage boost to bow attacks if you've been standing still for 6 seconds with your bow drawn. This is great for sneak attacks. Perfect Aim improves bow damage by 25% if you strike within two seconds of fully drawing the bow. This perk really encourages a rapid Legolas style fire rate. Quick Shot will help with this, allowing you to draw your bow 30% faster. Similarly, Hailstorm will increase attack speed by a further 8% for 10 seconds whenever you shoot a fully drawn arrow. Ranger allows you to move at full speed with the bow drawn. Every Master Archer understands the limits of ranged combat, so conflict is unpredictable and you never know when you're going to be face to face with a guy who wants to flay your skin from bone. For that reason, the Sharpshooter always carries two honed Elven daggers, making him just as lethal in close quarters. From the one-handed skill tree, go for one-handed mastery 2 of 2, Furious Strength, Overrun, Disciplined Fighter, Thundering Blow, Aftershock, Bite Marks 3 of 3, Savage 2 of 2, Twin Fang, Swaying Cobra, Death Adder, Coiling Python, Wandering Warrior, Ravage 2 of 2, Man of War, and Unleash the Beast. Thundering Blow and Aftershock is a great combo. When you string together 8 one-handed attacks, your next power attack will strike for double damage at no stamina cost, and the resulting Aftershock will increase your attack speed by 75% for 3 seconds. The branch beginning with Bite Marks will drastically increase your dagger effectiveness, and the branch beginning with Ravage will improve your dual wielding prowess. If you know the terrain of Valenwood and the speed at which the Bosma can traverse it, you'll know that there is no alternative to Light Armor for the Wood Elves. With Light Armor, the Sharpshooter will be quick, agile, and most importantly, practically invisible amongst the brown bark of Skyrim's trees. From this skill tree, grab Light Armor Mastery 2 of 2, Light Armor Fit, and Unhindered. With these perks, Light Armor will keep you well protected and moving at optimum speed. Finally, we have Sneak, and the Sharpshooter has the impressive accolade of never being spotted by one of his targets when tracking them. Even when those targets were trained professionals 
the Imperial Order of the Blades, they were none the wiser when the sharpshooter unsheathed his dual daggers and held them at their throats. From the sneak skill tree, take sneak mastery two of two, silent roll, fog of war, infiltrator, sneak attack, problem solver, assassin's blade, and backstab two of two. Infiltrator will remove 75% of your movement sound when sneaking, sneak attack will double your stealth dagger strikes and boost your sneak bow attacks by 25%, assassin's blade will increase that sneak dagger damage by a further 1% for every level of sneak you have. As I'm sure you've noticed, the sharpshooter is all about ferocity, speed, and fast strikes when in the middle of combat, and when he is undetected, he is slow, silent, and methodical. His playstyle is therefore versatile depending on the situation. Before the battle breaks out, you can pick off your foes from a distance with archery sneak attacks, or if you're within the vicinity of targets, execute devastating dagger sneak attacks for a reliable instant kill. When revealed, he will fire arrows at insane speeds and bashing enemies who come too close. If the surroundings are too tight to properly maneuver with the bow, the double daggers are a great alternative. Combined with the elemental fury shout, dual power attacks will be insane with these bad boys, having you swinging so fast that your arms are almost invisible. The sharpshooter will have the distinct Valenwood aesthetic with the Bosma armor from the Immersive Armors mod, grab the Bosma boots, braces, cuirass, shoulder cape, and quaff. As for the weapons, you can use a glass bow of the Stag Prince if you like, or any other glass bow you can find. We feel that this really completes the sharpshooter's style, and then get yourself two elven daggers which act as a little relic from his past as a former member of the Outmary Dominion. Don't worry about your lack of smithing and enchanting, with the Ordinator perks listed earlier, you will be devastating in every combat scenario. And there you have it guys, subscribe to Fire Drop It if you're new to our channel and our Skyrim builds. If you enjoy the video, give it a like and don't forget that the timestamps, mod links and social media can all be found in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out the 101 Elder Scrolls Facts video that we took part in. We'd really, really appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching everyone. My name's Scott and I'll see you next time.